So I wanted to teach you guys some truths. In this video, I will be talking about the finale of The Bachelor and how correct I was. <laughs> Just kidding, but seriously, this shit gets really freaky. Let's talk. Matt James is fine as hell and have the looks of one of the men in my dreams. Sorry. Anyway, focus. I did a video about this sexy ass man. I stopped watching it because it was so predictable. And I knew judging from his actions and his intimate engaging with all the women, I knew then he wasn't really ready to get married. Oh, did I mention he was only 29 years old? And until now, he's had a few relationships. Very few. Here's a recap. He was later selected to be the next Bachelor for season 25 of The Bachelor, making him the first black Bachelor lead in the show's history, which is really sad, but there's more. Matt's ex-girlfriend Madison Nelson was once almost a contestant on the season. It seems that Madison Nelson and Matt dated in the summer of 2019 when Matt's best friend Tyler Cameron dated Gigi I.D. Oh yes, Gigi, okay? There's also photos of the four of them at a fashion show. They were all only together for a couple of months though, it was so that some fans noticed that Madison was one of Matt's ex-girlfriends and they called the network. So ABC decided not to have her as a contestant on the show. Besides, just clearly this horny dude isn't going to choose a sister. He's going to choose and it's been leaked a younger Kylie looking like Rachel Kirkconnell, a 24 year old graphic designer from Company, Georgia, who allegedly receives Matt's final roles. The sources leaked off this Rachel being the winner, allegedly leaked from her friends and family, oh yes. So this may be true. These sources also confirmed that Michelle was the runner-up, so it's almost sure that Rachel is the winner after receiving evidence that Matt's other two finalists were Bree and Michelle. Who doesn't win? You make the call. Now, we're down to the last final Rose, okay? And it made waves across the internet when Bachelor Matt James reconnected with contestants Rachel Kirk Connell and Michelle Young. There was a ton of controversy leading up to this show due to Kirk Connell being connected to a racially insensitive images. Yet while the drama surrounding James and Kirk Connell took most of the shows the show's airtime, he did share a moment with Young during which the two discussed the conclusion of their relationship. However, many viewers didn't understand why the season's second runner-up, Bree Springs, was not seen on the special. However, Springs recently revealed that although she was on set to record the After the Final Rose show special, none of her scenes made it to the air. Yeah. In fact, she never even got the chance to talk to James, which is shocking to me. With that said, this should tell you that these girls are going to marry this man whom they don't know and half of them are barely 21 years old. You guys know that, right? These marriages on The Bachelor and The Bachelorette never end well. They barely know each other. I think this whole setup is ridiculous. I mean, they should eliminate the amount of contestants that way it would create more time with each other instead of whatever number they have. It should be about six contestants. However, with this show, we all know he's going to choose someone who's not black. I'm just saying. I know he's mixed, but he only converse with the white side of him. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See y'all later. Bye.